Let's create filing labels. One of the best uses for labels is to create neat file folders that are easy to find. Here's an example. File folders and filing labels even come in different colors to help you organize. I'm going to create labels for federal tax returns for five different years using the Avery 8066 white removable filing labels. My goal is to show you different solutions that will help you decide the best solutions for your tasks. Let's make some labels. Open Avery Wizard. In the product number box, enter 8066 and click search. You see the removable filing labels. Next. And here we have six templates. Let's pick the blank template. Select type many different entries on a sheet. Notice there's no quantity box here. That's because each label is different. Let's change the font size to 16. Make it bold. And type in Federal Tax Return 2012. Federal Tax return 2012. Let's click align text to the left and add some clip art. Clip art is under Microsoft Office. A calculator seems right. Click insert and let's shrink this down and drag it to the right margin. Now we can fine-tune the position of the calculator using the up and down and left and right arrow keys. We need to adjust the top margin to center the text. You should be able to drag the top margin bar but it appears to work however there's a bug what does work is to click on nil select line spacing options and under spacing add 12 points before each paragraph there, that looks great. Now, to do 2013, you click on the label just to the right, and it looks like you have to start over. You could repeat all the same steps again and just change the year to 2013. A smarter solution would be to copy and paste the first label and just change the year. Let's do that. Let's click on the first label again. Highlight Now click copy select the second label Click Paste, and we're almost there. We need to delete this second paragraph, backspace, and enter the 3 for 2013. I like to make five labels, so I'll repeat this process three more times. We 
select paste, delete, backspace, 2014. Paste, delete the paragraph, backspace, put in a 5. And one last one. Paste, delete, backspace, 2016. Let's check the labels we created by clicking on each in the page layout. So the first label says 2012. That's right, 2013, 14, 15, there's 16, and anywhere in here should be blank. Okay, let's do next and print preview. This churns and burns and prints out a preview. Let's go with 100%. And it looks very good. I'd like to show you another solution. This task is unique in that the only thing different for each label is the year. So I propose to start over. I'll make all five labels the same and just edit the year in the Microsoft Word document which is produced when you click finish. Let's try it. Click close print preview and click back twice. Click create sheet of identical layouts and next. A warning appears. Your previous layout will be lost. Click yes and start over. Notice the quantity box is now present. This is because all the labels are the same. So as before, change the font to 16, make it bold, left justify, and type in the text. Federal tax return 2012. We'll add the calculator back to clip art. I'll shrink this down to fit, drag it over, fine tune it. We'll Adjust the top margin to center the text. Select line spacing options. Bump up the before space to 12 and cl click OK. Now we just want five labels. So we change the quantity to five. next and we'll go right to the finish. The Avery Wizard is gone. Any edits now are done in Microsoft Word. Let's just change the dates. Backspace and put in a 3. Backspace and put in a 4. Backspace for the five, and finally 2016. Now you can save this document and repeat the process in 2017. You would just go over to File and click under 
save as. But what if you typically print only a few filing labels at a time? Rather than using filing label sheet of 30 labels, you could use Avery's mini sheets. I cover this topic in the next video.